Greetings, this is M squared, and we're going to solve some linear systems using elimination. Keep in mind, linear systems mean you have two equations of lines, and you're finding out where these two lines intersect. That is your answer. So sometimes lines intersect at one point, sometimes they're parallel and they don't intersect at all, and sometimes it's the same line, and we get an infinite amount of solutions. So one of those three things can happen. Most of the time you'll be with you know, you'll be finding that there's one solution. Just keep in mind the other two can happen. So the first two steps, these are kind of simple ones because the first two steps are done for us. The first step is to make sure everything is lined up, the x's, the y's, the equal signs, the numbers. The second step is to pick one of the variables and find coefficients that are opposites. So these are already done for you. So those first two steps are done for you. And the simple one, you want to go to the next level to find some more challenging ones. So once those two steps are done, we just simply add the equations. And when we add the equations, we eliminate one of the variables. That's why we call it elimination. So when I added, I get 8x, the y's canceled, and I get 32. So to find my x, I divide both sides by 8, and I get 8x equals 4. So I know now I have a solution and that the x coordinate is 4. So then, I use substitution to find my y value. So I take my 4 and I plug it back in to that x. So I'm going to have a 4 instead of that x in that first equation. So I'm going to say 3 times 4 instead of 3 times x plus 4y equals 8. And when I do that, I get 12 plus 4y equals 8. I minus 12 from both sides. I get 4y equals negative 4. And when I divide both sides by 4, I get y equals negative 1. Now I have my y coordinate. So the important part here is not to stop, to always check into that last equation. I always take my first variable that I get, put it in my first equation, and then check in the second equation. When I do that, I, I avoid um, you know, forgetting which equation I used first. So that's what I like to do. So I'm going to put my 4 in here and my negative 1 in here and see if I get 24. And if I do, then I know I'm right. 5 times 4 is 20. Negative 4 times negative 1 is 4. And 20 plus 4 does indeed equal 24. So now I am 100% sure that my answer is correct. This is the point where these two lines intersect. So I recommend checking. You'll notice that this doesn't, the next one doesn't say x and y. It says m and n. But we do it the same way. It's already, the first two steps are done, so we're just ready to add. We're going to say 4m, the n's cancel, equals negative 8. And when we divide both sides by 4, I get m equals negative 2. Now I'm going to take my m, I'm going to take it into the first equation, and I'm going to substitute it in for that m. So I'm going to put negative 2 in for m. And when I do that, 3 times negative 2 is 6, plus n is well, we can't add those, and then equals negative 6. So I'm going to get n alone by adding 6 to both sides. Those cancel out, and I get n equals 0. And 0, remember, is a number. You can indeed get an answer of 0. So sometimes when you have m's and n's instead of x's and y's, people don't put them in the point in the coordinate system, but I like to, and I just choose whichever one is alphabetically first, like m comes before n in the alphabet. I choose that to go first. And now it's time to check. So I check in my second equation. So I'm going to say m, which is negative 2, minus 0, which is our n, does that equal negative 2? And yes, negative 2 minus 0 is negative 2. So that is my check. And now I know I'm right. And if you do that on a quiz or test, it's really easy to get 100. Um, practice, though, in your homework because you need to find out what mistakes you're used to making. Some people forget negative signs when they divide. You know, you find out what you're missing, and then you can check that when it doesn't work out in your check and fix your mistakes and get 100%. That'd be awesome. Good luck with that. M squared, signing out.